Hey guys, what you see here are a couple of bags of material I picked up at the local hardware store. I'm going to be using both of them for the new Krabitat. The first one's going to be the pea gravel we use right now. Alright guys, the goal today is to make a base layer down underneath all the sand or the substrate in this new Krabitat in order to prevent water from building up in the sand and potentially drowning a crab if it's down underneath trying to molt. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this bucket which I created, well I purchased the bucket, and I um, took a drill and drilled small holes all through the bottom so water could flow through and the goal is to put the pea gravel in this bucket rinse it very well and so that way it can be used without all the dust and stuff that it came with so we'll see how it turns out So for a couple of these pipes, I'm going to use them as like drainage siphon pipes. What I'm going to do is make sure that there's some holes in the end and cover it with a little piece of screen, probably with a zip tie or something. So that way, uh, hopefully, substrate can't get into it. Uh, I'm going to have pea gravel anyway, covering most of this. So I'm hoping, um, you know, this will work. I'm going to do two of these. They're going to be a little bit lower than the other pipes, stabilizing everything. What I'm going to do is start with a small pilot hole. I'm going to try to go all the way through. Alright, so I'm going to use that small pilot hole as a guide for a larger one, and you'll see what I'm doing here in a moment. So now I have the larger bit, I think it's like a 5.30 seconds, something like that. Hopefully it's big enough, I'm not real sure. I didn't want to go too big and possibly wreck the pipe. I mean, I guess I could always use more. So I'm going to follow this pilot hole as my guide. Yeah, so looking at the hole that I just made, I think I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So I have my hole, and what I'm going to do next is go ahead and cut right along these two holes with the hacksaw to create kind of these little arches. Alright guys, I got lazy and just decided to use my cell phone for all this, most of this, so uh, it's kind of hard for me to hold it and work, but just to give you an idea. I'm going to use the hacksaw and cut right here, give or take. I'll show you the finished product here in just a moment. 
So this is what the end of the pipe looks like. Um, I'm going to cover this with string and probably just zip tie it on. So hopefully water will kind of soak through the pea gravel, through the screen and into the pipes. It'll be easy for me to funnel water out if water were to accumulate at the bottom of the hermit crab aquarium, terrarium. Um, you know, the goal is so that way if they're molting and they're down near the bottom, they are not going to drown. So I'm going to make two of these and place them in the back of the aquarium. Hopefully it'll work out. So I've got my pipes here with the holes drilled in to let water in. I've got some scrap pieces of screen and some zip ties. I'm going to go ahead and get these all ready and just drop them in the back of the aquarium. And those are going to be my siphon tubes if needed. I can just drop some airline down in them and siphon out the water. All right, so I have these uh, you know, pipes ready to go. Hopefully they will help with drainage. And they're just gonna go back behind here and just rest in there. I'm not, so that way I can move them around if needed to kind of siphon or anything. Um, but then I can just drop airline down in the top and you know, siphon out any water that may build up. Hopefully that never happens, but you never know. I plan on putting some large bowls in here with uh, water salt and regular with bubblers and stuff or air stones so water could potentially spill over but I want to try to increase the humidity on this thing so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place these and show you what it looks like alright so I just laid the pipes in there um, you can probably see it from the back let's see you can see them there uh, and they go all the way down to the bottom with the mesh protecting them I'm gonna put a little bit of pea gravel back there as well as in the front and that should be enough to hopefully drain this thing if ever it comes to that I'm hoping this background holds up uh, I think it looks neat it's not perfect I mean you can see where it's just been wrapped over and over and over but I think it's better than that egg crate and I really just didn't want to buy something I wanted to do something a little different so and especially something my daughter and I can work together on kind of artsy craftsy stuff so next step is going to be the pea gravel and then substrate and the bowls and everything so hopefully we can get this thing done all right what we're going to do now is start adding the pea gravel slowly and carefully to the bottom of the aquarium i'm going to add maybe an inch is the goal not much more. The hard thing I think is going to be getting pea gravel in the back, behind the background. I'm going to wiggle that out, dump some back there, and then put it back in place. But we're going to do that slowly. So we're going to get about that much in a cup. And then do this in the aquarium. To here? To here? That's about right, yeah. Now don't pour it from real high because it can crack the glass. You gotta pour it from just above the bottom. That's good. No, it's not enough. That's good. Here. That's good. So here or lower? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, look what I'm doing. Just like that. Like that? Yep. That's good. So we're going to continue filling this with gravel and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, so what we got here is about I don't know, a quarter to a half inch layer of pea gravel. Could put some more but I really don't want to have a ton in there. Just enough to keep the sand substrate from completely covering the bottom and becoming saturated and not having any ability for me to siphon out water if need be. I want a little gap that will allow water to accumulate if it spills. 
I'll add the substrate soon and we'll go ahead and get this thing placed and start getting it set up and you know switch the crabs over.